Minnesota Vikings of 1979 were a passing team, with 64% of their offense coming from the young arm of Tommy Kramer, who had the second most passing attempts in the NFL. New England's defense was ranked third in total yards allowed and passing touchdowns allowed, so something's got to give. Vegas says the Patriots favored by five. Good afternoon, everybody, from Foxborough Stadium here in Foxborough, Massachusetts. Kurt Gowdy, Hank Stram. We've just had the opening kickoff. The Vikings ran it back to their own 45, and we're set to go. The Vikings in white won the toss. Come up to the line of scrimmage with Tommy Kramer, the quarterback. He's played every down in every game this year. The handoff goes to Ted Brown. Tommy Kramer is the quarterback. Ricky Young, 34. Ted Brown, 23, the running back. Ahmad Rashad. Sammy White are the wide receivers. And Bob Tucker is the tight end. Riley. Huff, Swilly, Hamilton, Yerry are the interior linemen. In motion, Ricky Young. Kramer for the throw. Sideline. Skipping out is Rashad. Mod Rashad was known as Bobby Moore in college at Oregon when his quarterback was future NFL Hall of Famer Dan Fouts. He was the fourth overall pick in the 1972 draft by the Cardinals, but it was as a Viking where he prospered and was a four-time Pro Bowler. In 1979, he led the NFC in catches with 80 and in receiving yardage with 1,156. Slight breeze of the Patriots back. Out to Stan Morgan. Morgan's up to the 30 and is downed on his 32-yard line for a first down. Jeff Seaman dragged him down. Stanley Morgan will be in the Pro Bowl. That's his 42nd reception of this year. There's the backfield. Grogan, Ivory, Calhoun. Cunningham is out with an injury. Morgan and Jackson are the wide men. And uh, Hasselbeck is a tight end. Russ Francis is injured. First time the Vikings have ever played at Schaefer Stadium. Back in 1970, they played at Harvard Stadium when the Patriots were moving around from stadium to stadium. Brogan for his first, second throw. Oh, oh, nearly picked off there by Bobby Bryant, number 20, not quite, intended for Harold Jackson. Bobby Bryant was a terrific cornerback. A Viking his entire career from 1968 through 1980, he made the Pro Bowl twice and had 51 interceptions. Jackson didn't take him deep enough that time. Ryan played the ball well, but he didn't get him out of his backpedal hardy at all before he made his outside move. For that reason, he had a good chance to make a play on the ball uh, when it was thrown to the outside to Harold Jackson. Three wide receivers. Minnesota uses a four-man front. Mullaney, Roller, White, and Marshall up there. Blair, Seaman, McNeil, the linebackers. They have a nickel defense in there now. Third down, 13 for New England from their own 29-yard line. They're blitzing him. He's under the gun. He throws it out to the 35 and falling forward as Horace Ivory to the 36-yard line and a kicking situation. This was the first season since 1972 that the Vikings did not make the playoffs. Jim Marshall received a tremendous ovation here. And Foxborough, when he came out in the field, he's winding it up, a storybook 20-year career. Carl Eller, Marshall's longtime teammate, was given permission by the Seahawks to attend Marshall's last home game, which was the week before this. Yeah, that ain't happening today. Kramer is operating with three wide receivers. Third and nine. That pass, he has him, man, out of bounds. In Patriot territory is Terry LeCount, number 80, Second year NFL player. Uh, two great ones retire today. Jim Marshall here and OJ Simpson, Atlanta. Over through the pass, and Raymond Claiborne nearly grabbed it, number 26. In 1977, as a first round draft pick out of Texas, Raymond Claiborne returned three kickoffs for touchdowns. His 31 yard per return led the NFL, and he went on to play full time for 14 years, making three Pro Bowls as well as the Patriots Hall of Fame. Vikings ball on the Patriot 22. The Viking drive that started on her own 20 yard line. Out 
Rashad, he goes again. He just, there he is to the 10, Rashad to the 5. His forward motion stopped at the 4. And the Vikings will have first and goal to go. Oh, there's a great hit by Nelson on Ricky Young. Nelson was coming behind the line of scrimmage on the snap and got to it. Yeah, they have a lot of respect for that defense. They run a counter play in this situation. And watch Steve Nelson, number 57. He really comes through there. A great hit. Hits him high right at the, right at the numbers. Here's another underrated player, Steve Nelson, who played his entire career with the Patriots from 1974 through 1987. He made three Pro Bowls and is also in the Patriots Hall of Fame. Ted Brown's back in as a running back, number 23. Looks like they're going to run left. Patriots digging in. Straight ahead, it is a touchdown for Ted Brown. Brown scores an 80-yard drive. A coach's dream on that drive. A long drive that used up a lot of time and play. That time they had the left halfback way up in front of the fullback. Rick Danmeyer for the point. It is up, and the kick is oh, good. Brian Seip leads the entire NFL with 27. Play action. Lots of time, wide open. With Harold Jackson, 30, and out of bounds. Boy, was he open. He goes out on the Vikings, 26. Tom Hannon drove him out. Watch here, Grogan fakes to Ivory, goes back in the pocket, has good protection. Jackson is coming over from right to left. Hasselback is the tight end coming across short. But Jackson catches the ball in the zone area that was vacated by the, the safety man. Beautiful play. Play covered 37 yards. Golden right away. Goes right back to Jackson again. Minnesota leading 6 0. A minute 50 remaining in the first period. He's going to throw, he gets it out to Ivory, catches the ball, he's in. Touchdown, Horace Ivory. John Smith will try the point. He has kicked 43 out of 46. Matt Cavanaugh, backup quarterback holding, and the kick is up. And that kick puts the Patriots out in front. Miller peeling out in motion. He likes to throw a lot on first down. That time he runs a draw play. Big play for Ricky Young. He's in the Patriot territory and a lot more all the way to the Patriot 29. Before he's upended by Mike Haynes and Rick Sanford. Perfectly that, executed draw. That, that's a sprint draw. It looks like he's going to roll out to the right, but he gives the ball to the tailback. Ricky Young finds a nice seam inside. Got the linebackers running out of there. Made a beautiful run on the play. Ricky Young went to Jackson State and was a teammate of Walter Payton his nephew, and Robert Brazil, his cousin, both of whom are Hall of Famers. I love to see those backs with quick feet pick their way through prostrate bodies as they go through that hole. Well, it makes it a lot easier to get through there if you have quick feet. <laughs> Pittsburgh leading Buffalo 14 to nothing. The Steelers are in the playoffs anyway, but uh, we'll give you all the possibilities. Here's uh, Terry LeCount who falls down. This was a lateral to LeCount, who was going to throw a forward pass, I believe, to Ahmad Rashad, but he, he lost his footing, and the play backfires on the Vikings. They have a second down now in 19. Ricky Young and Robert Miller, the running back. Now Kramer go back in the air again. The receiver lost the ball, Mike Haynes, all pro cornerback, jarred it loose from Incidentally, uh, that sack on LeCount was the Patriots' 57th of the year, which is one short of their club record held uh, set in 1977, and they lead the uh, National Football League in sacks this year. Ted Brown's back in the lineup for the Vikings. Third and 19. Going deep, wide open is White, and it's loose again. Mike Haynes, a remarkable play because White was open. I don't know how uh, Mike Haynes got to him. We're not just a couple of animals who can only play football. We can be civilized, too. Tennis is sophisticated, but you still got to be fast on your feet. So we still drink light beer from Miller. It's got a third less calories than the regular beer, and it's less filling. And it really tastes great. Now that we've played singles, we're looking for a nice, friendly game of doubles. 
tennis, anyone? Like beer from Miller. Everything you always wanted in a beer and less. Rogan, beautiful fake. Going deep. Incomplete to Stanley Morgans, who has averaged 24 yards a catch this year. Second down, 10. Rogan's sideline pass. And out of bounds is Harold Jackson with it. Third down and three. Rogan throwing wide. He was under the gun. Uh, he had number 54, Fred McNeil, in there blitzing him. And Scott Studwell blitzing linebackers on Grogan. Watch them. They guessed right on that. This is the first time he's rolled out in the game. He, got, he started to stumble there. But Fred McNeil, 54, was blitzing from the inside and did a good job. He threw the ball poorly. Kramer has him spread all over. Shoots it down the middle. He has Sammy White for a first down. Sanford wrapped White up at the New England 34-yard line. Rolls it out to the sideline. Hey, a remarkable catch with that wet ball at the 28 of New England by Ahmad Rashad. Third down. Good pass out to Ted Brown. We just had a roar while we were away. It's for the cheerleaders who disappeared at the kickoff and just came back for the first time. What's a football game without cheerleaders? Two minutes to play in the half. Good protection for Kramer. Runs out of the pocket. 20, 15, 10, still going five. Down on the three-yard line. Looks like something right or up the middle. It is right with Miller. He'll be in. Robert Miller scores. And the Vikings, with 34 seconds remaining in the half, move ahead. Stay tuned because the second half is exciting. 27 fourth quarter points are scored, so be sure to watch all the way through. You know, for too long now, bowlers have been left out of light beer commercials. And football players have been grabbing all the glory. But bowlers know light beer from Miller tastes great. We know light's got a third less calories than the regular beer. We know light's less filling. Bowlers love light just as much as football players. That's right. And we also love the easy opening can. You sure do. Come on. Light beer from Miller. Everything you always wanted in a beer and less. Steve Rogan. Number 14, down there on his haunches, started his 64th straight game today. That's the most of any active quarterback in the league. Terry Bradshaw is next on the list with 46. Bradshaw and of course, in today's game, most of the QBs never miss a game because they rarely get hit hard. But in the 70s, it was difficult to keep a starting quarterback on the field to play. It was a delayed safety blitz that time. But he got rid of the ball in good shape. He's now caught four. And he has 76 catches this season. Kramer gives it off on a sprint. Coming through is Ricky Young. Look at him go. He's over the 50, and Ricky Young stopped for a first down in Patriot territory. It's the second time they've used that sprint draw. One time to the right for a big gain. They come right back with it to the left side, and he gets another big gain. It looks like the quarterback sells him on the idea that he's going to roll out to his left, and he gives the ball to the uh, tailback. Now Kramer looking to field over, is going, going deep to White, incomplete over his head, and he was being chased by Ricky Sanford and Mike Haynes right with him. They're in a slot left. And there's a the pass, a comeback, it's complete at the 33-yard line. Miller out of motion. Fakes, goes on the run, wide open is the tight end, Bob Tucker, on the 19-yard line of New England. He'll throw again on first down. Back he comes to Ricky Young at the 15, at the 10. Young slips and goes down. Rick Danmeyer, who was kicked. 12 out of 19, he's 7 out of 11 inside the 40. This kick is up, and he drives it through. 
So the Vikings, 76 yard drive comes to a stall, but the Vikings get on the board with three points. 319 to play in the third quarter, and Minnesota leads New England 16 to 7. Christmas Day at 12:30 Eastern. Dr. J makes a house call on Washington. It's the 76ers and Bullets. You'll say, you saw it on CBS Sports. First and 10 Minnesota on the Patriot 40 yard line. Coming through is Ted Brown, first down to the 28 yard line of New England. This will be a 44 yard, uh, 43 yard attempt. Paul Cross will hold, who now holds the all time record for intercepting passes in the National Football League. Low snap, the kick is up, and the kick uh, hits the bar. Hit the crossbar. No Here's another position that you can't compare between the eras kicker. They've been using these special footballs that are designed to travel longer when booted, called K balls, for years now. In today's game, that ball would have sailed three quarters of the way up the uprights. It's just another way to boost scoring. Third penalty against Minnesota. Reverse. A pass Westbrook throwing to Hasselbeck at the 30. Tied into the 25. Tight end Don Hasselbeck is the father of NFL quarterbacks Matt and Tim Hasselbeck, who played a combined 21 years, Matt playing in 17 of them. On two plays, the Patriots move 66 yards. There's Grogan, 15, still going. Second down, yard to go. Calhoun scores. And the Patriots went 75 yards. Next Saturday, the CBS Sports Spectacular reports on former Dallas Cowboy Ed Too Tall Jones returned to Dallas for his latest bout. You'll say you saw it on CBS Sports. Too Tall Jones was 6-0 in his professional bouts as a heavyweight. He had five knockouts, and all of his bouts were televised by CBS. He would return to play in the NFL from 1980 through 1989, making three Pro Bowl teams. Jim Marshall, number 70, playing his last game ever in the National Football League. 20-year career. Last week, he was became the first Viking in history to ever be presented a game ball by the coach Bud Grant. See if they throw the ball here on first and ten, especially the Jackson on the other side. They've been successful with a play-action pass. First down, Patriots on the Viking 41. They are going to throw. They go down the middle. He's open. Touchdown. He called it. Well, he put it right on the money that time. Play-action pass. Right up on top, into the post. What a beautiful catch. All right, Vikings had the ball on their 20. Up until these last two Patriots scores, which exploded suddenly, Vikings had badly outplayed New England. There's the pass to White. It's intercepted by Raymond Claiborne. He's at the 35, the 30, the 25, the 20, and down in the 20, the 18-yard line. John Smith will try a 42-yard field goal. As we told you earlier, he's been very accurate inside the 40, making uh, 16 out of 18 inside the 40. This kick is up, and this one's riding, riding, it is good. The opponents have doubled the score on him in the fourth. There's the pass, it is complete to Ricky Young. Tommy Kramer has passed the ball 45 times today. Completed 27. Here's the 46 coming up. And he hits his receiver at the 40 of the Patriots, Robert Miller. Kramer eluding rushers. First down, Sammy White to the New England 24-yard line. He shoots it. It is a diving catch. It is complete to the 13-yard line to Terry LeCount, one of the better catches of the game. But that streak was snapped today. There it is, wide open. Ricky Young at the 10, the 5. Young is over for a touchdown. Third and 9. Let's see if they blitz. They're going in on him. He unloads. He's got him open. 20. He read the blitz. Harold Jackson caught it. They have to do a good job of protecting on this kicker. They could block it. Vikings have blocked 13 assorted kicks this year. Smith, who's deadly inside the 40, will be trying a 30-yard field goal. It's up, and the kick is good. 
Now that means the Vikes have to come back and get a touchdown. Or a couple of field goals in a hurry. They've not allowed a runner or a pass receiver to make 100 yards in the game this year, there's a threat. Kramer, look out from behind. He throws and getting into the sideline and out of bounds of Sammy White at the 44 of the Vikings. Another first down for the Vikings. Two timeouts left, they're going short. 50 yard line, Ricky Young who's been outstanding, catching the ball, running the ball. Ricky Young finished the game with 80 rushing yards and 116 receiving yards on 15 catches, which made him the first rusher or receiver to break 100 yards in a game against the Patriots this year. He can't do it, but he has a first down. They're at the New England 41 yard line. With the clock moving, they'll have to hurry up. 27-23 New England, 30 seconds to play. Quick snap here. Tommy Kramer broken the all-time completion record for the Vikings. That's incomplete. Second and ten for the Vikings. Trailing by four. Last 30 seconds. The pass. Oh, should have been intercepted. Here's a Big Ben play where all three receivers are on the outside. Big Ben, that means going against the clock. Wild gamble. Kramer out of the pocket to the 40, to the 35, to the 30, to the 25. Down to the 23, and they rush in and stop the clock. Harold Jackson's smile says it all, as the Vikes could not get a touchdown. New England 27, Minnesota 23.